Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dalazena, I am the IT Geek. Uh, welcome to what is episode four, four I think I can count, yeah, one, three, four, four of uh, the I Am IT Geek book review. Um, so it's me reviewing tech books. Um, you know, I start, I kind of started doing this because there wasn't really anything else out there that, you know, like this, people have done blogs and stuff, but, you know, I didn't see anybody doing any sort of uh, video tech reviews, so I thought it'd be helpful. Um, I wanted to read the books as well, so Two Birds, One Stone gave me an excuse to read them. Um, so this week's book is actually one that I was lucky enough to be part of on a project perspective. It was the uh, Microsoft Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals Exam, SC900, by a good friend of mine, Dwayne Natwick. Um, I have a lot to, well, a lot to Dwayne, I've got to explain in the past. He's, he's the kind of one who got me into to my sort of book writing, um, so big shout out to Dwayne. Uh, before I crack on with that, just again, another massive shout out to um, Don't Accept the Default T-shirt, Apple One. You know, I mentioned it in the last few videos. This is, uh, this is for, 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 you know, charity for Girls Who Code. Um, Abel Wang was somebody who, who worked for Microsoft in sort of DevOps area. He was a Microsoft Cloud Advocate and um, unfortunately he passed away a few years ago. Um, but he was very, 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 very loved and well thought of in the community. I unfortunately never got the chance to meet him, which, you know, you know, very unfortunate for me. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm jealous of those people that did get to meet him and, and spend that time with him. Uh, April Edwards, who again works for Microsoft as well, the Cloud Advocate team, uh, has, has kept his legacy going on with, with these T-shirts and, and all the proceeds from, from buying these T-shirts uh, goes towards a charity called Girls Who Code. So you can see the link in my description to, to April Edwards, you know, um, socials and also the Girls Who Code. So website, so if you want to donate, please please do donate. You know, it's a great, great cause. Um, I love this T-shirt. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's, it's one of my favourite T-shirts. Um, so, yeah, just thought I'd, I'd give him a big shout-out. So let's get to the nitty-gritty. Let's get to this, this book review. So, as I mentioned, this is, this is a book. I've got a physical copy of it. So as, as a, I was a technical reviewer. No, uh, yeah, I was a technical reviewer. So as... as uh, so, so I've got the physical copy of it, but I'm, you know, when I'm talking about the book, I'm going to go through the ebook as well, um, just just to help make my points. Um, I was a technical technical reviewer on this, so every time Dwayne did a chapter, I would get sent it, I would review it, I would comment on it, um, and then obviously, um, you know, Dwayne would make any 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 changes that I might have commented on, etc. So it was great working, you know, second sort of book project that I worked on with Dwayne. Um, and this is again, simple, you know, brave man is doing. Um, he was working on this and the SE three hundred one at the same time. So um, let's let's get straight to it. So um, again, back in the in the sort of packed portal that I have that I've got. Um, one thing I do want to say, and this is just me being vain, when you go to show related titles here, there's mine, me and Victor. Ours is related. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, that's just me being silly, um, but it's nice my book there uh, so here we are um, again it's it's uh, it's, a, it's a packed book so they have a very very similar setup so you broke it down at sections each section has a chapter this is very very different from the mastering books a because it's specific to an exam so this is the SC 900 um, security fundamentals exam and as you will notice it's a lot less chapters um, I don't know what I thought it was but it's it's actually goes it, it, even though there's 24 sections from chapter perspective is less um and again because it, it's an exam so again you can see from it it's not you know it's not as as, as thick it's very similar to thickness of my my you know the mean me victor did um but again you can see section one section two to do section three and section four and i think this might have another section yeah section five um and, and again, a kind of final assessment. So I, I'll get into the nitty gritty of it. Um, I, I read this book a while ago because obviously I was, I was part of the, the team that, that kind of reviewed it. So um, I know, know, intimately know this book. And um, what what Dwayne's is a very similar setup to his SC300 book and, and why not? You know, it's another exam book. Um, so again, it does an overview of the, and this is one thing I liked about Dwayne's, Dwayne's book, the last one as well. So he actually does an overview of, of the actual exam. So we're going to chapter one. This is not just, so it's not just about, we're not even got to the SE 900 content yet. This is about Microsoft exams in general. And this is something myself and Victor decided to, to use something similar in our book where we actually break down an ex, a Microsoft exam and what, you know, what, 
what you need to do to you know what what do you need to be able to you know take one pass one and you know you see here access to a subscription you know where can we take the exam and the exam format goes through the different type of questions you know what resources are available go through microsoft learn resources so even though it's not specific to you know obviously this part specific to the exam can tell you how to book it but we're not going to any technical content yet it's just again it's perfect for beginners people who who are new to, to microsoft exams who people who are new to microsoft you know any any graduates or, or people very young that are getting into cloud this is a perfect perfect sort of chapter for people like that um so great again something that i really liked about the, the se 300 books i'm i'm going to start i'll be doing that a lot i'll be comparing it to that book because i've already done a video on that and it's very similar sort of set up to that um and then it, do we start getting into the sort of actual technical content now the one thing that makes this book different is it's a it's a fundamentals foundation level course now for those that have done the fundamental exams um so that's the az 900 the 900 level az 900 ms 900 and sc 900 are the three sort of main they've got other ones now as well the um data fund as you have data fundamentals uh, i think they've got a couple of other fundamentals but the, the this one particularly is around security they're not lab based so they're in, you know they're, they're all theory based so the difficulty with this sort of ex this sort of book is to keep people engaged because th there, there won't be any labs you know they, they, again this book is, is like that there, there are not as many sort of lab areas um, or lab work to do because that's just the exam's not based on any labs there's, you know there's no how do you configure you know you're configuring this how do you know how, how what do you need to do to configure that it's not that type of book. It's concepts. It's it's theory. It's understanding security. Um, what Dwayne does really well, and I, and I said this on when I was doing the you know chapter reviews and when I was you know the feedback that I gave, he mixes it up really well with like with images and and sort of images of the, of the actual portal. Um, so if I get into here we go. So, bit of theory, and then we have an image, an image that helps the reader visualize what an understanding cyber attack kill chain. Here's an example of a kill chain, actual image of it, so you can see it rather than read about it. And again, it, it, it's all the way through the book. Again, talking about building a defense in depth. Here's an image of defense in depth. So we've got physical security, identity, and access perimeter. So it shows the different layers. So I've not just read about it, I'm seeing it now. That helps me visualize it and understand it better. You know what, it keeps me engaged because I don't know about other people, but I personally find it very, very difficult to just just to read text. I need to be engaged and, and images and you know, images of the portal and labs always will keep me engaged. Because this is an SC nine hundred fundamental book, labs are very difficult. So big, big, big shout out to Dwayne for, for really mixing up the sort of theory and the images. It, it's very difficult doing this level of a, of a sort of book, I can imagine. But he did it really well. And again, talks about, you know, the evolution of cloud and cloud services. An actual image, a kind of a bit of a funny image to, to help sort of uh, visualize that. Again, it, it, it's it's the it's the throughout the whole chapter that, that sort of throughout the whole book. Sorry, that that's what it is. If we go down to say chapter, let's go down to chapter five here about defining identity principles. You know, a lot of lot of text. But then if we have an image to break it up a bit. I personally feel that will help engage users and the readers, especially if you're starting out in this topic. You know. It, you can get over overrun by theory and writing and, and, and you know things to remember visualizing will help people learn in my opinion and i think Dwayne does a really good good of breaking that down um and again each each again more, more sort of now what what this book doesn't have which the i think the se 300 one did and, and i think that they were mastering books that i've talked about is knowledge check questions at the end of each chapter now yeah I, th I think maybe they could have that could have had them maybe this could have had those what it does have is a chapter at the end with with um, an assessment which i think is very important but i just feel it could have been a couple of knowledge check questions at the end i again i i 
I hope I think I think we did it in the in in our yeah we did it in our SC four hundred one and I think it's I think it's just a good way for people to check. Okay, I've read all this. It's actually sunk in. That's the only sort of critique that I will give. But again, the the information covered is all spot on. Um, again, I was very very close to, to this book being the technical reviewer and part of that project. Um, and again, again, when we get into some more um, services like we were talking, we're talking about Microsoft Three Six Five Defender. You know, it goes through some sort of more technical elements of. Um, so again, another image there. We actually go into the the, the, the portal here. So what what Dwayne has done is actually shown rather than going through a lab, he's showing the security administrator center. Again, helping the user visualize it. And what they can do is in their own portal, they can do it while they're looking at the reading the book. They can go through it as well. So again, I think this is great. And look, you know, just images and 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 the sort of portal to help readers visualize. Um. So again, I personally loved this book. I thought for a, for a foundational level, it had the right amount of detail. It can be very easy to. What, you meant, what we need to remember is people reading this book and wanting to take this exam in particular might just be more than likely will be starting out in in sort of the cloud fundamentals, you know, security fundamentals. You know, it's 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 very unlikely you will get someone with 10, 15 years experience wanting to take this exam. They've probably done identity a lot and, and have done it day to day, so they might jump to the SE 300. But if we're talking for, for beginners, it can be very easy to give them too much information, like overawe them, in, in, and that won't prepare them for the exam because they'll, they'll be reading information they don't technically need to know. So having the right amount of detail, not too less, not, not too much, is, is a really hard skill, and I think Dwayne has mastered that with this book. You compare it to the SC three hundred book, where you probably need a, a lot of detail, a lot of granular knowledge, because it's it's an associate level exam. Um, you know, it can be it's, it's, you've got a bit more leeway to do more content and more more information. Whereas what Dwayne's on here is kept it limited to what they need to know, because it's an exam study guide. It's not like the mastering books where you can go into loads and you should go into loads of detail. You shouldn't go into too much detail with these sort of foundation level books. And Dwayne's got that down to a T. Um, so spot on Dwayne. Um, and again, something I like about the packed books, you know, they always have other books you may enjoy, bigging up other books. Uh, this is the, um, it talks about the SC200 uh, book by, by Trevor. Um, it goes on about the, the, the Dwayne's other book as well, the SC300 one. Uh, so again, I do like that about packed books. They, they, they do kind of highlight other books that might be useful. Um, so again, all in all, another great, another great book. Um, critique, it could do. I felt like it could have had some knowledge checks at the end of each chapter. It doesn't, which is fine. It's what it is. It's only a little critique, but what it does have is the. I'll close. It does have the sort of um, questions right at the end, the final assessment, uh, which again is is really important in my opinion. And I think how many does this have? Sixty five questions told. So a lot of questions and great practice for people. Um, so really well done to, done to Dwayne on on well another another great book, um, really good you know second I think I, he's doing the SE one hundred as well now when that does become available I will, um, I'll do that probably in a later one of the later episodes, um, th this has been another you know really good reader enjoyed it. I recommend you, you buy it especially if you, if you want to do this exam one hundred percent recommend it, um, I'll put all the links and all the details obviously in, in the description of the video and a link to Dwayne's socials. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Any other books that you feel that you would like me to review, please feel free to message me on my Twitter or just comment on the video. If you've not subscribed, why? Why? You know, um, I, I enjoy doing this content and it's always nice to have subscribers to, you know, to, to have a nice regular following. So please do subscribe. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's me done for this episode. Um, so uh, the next episode is going to be on the uh, MS700. Um, I think there's two there's two co-authors I can't remember one of the names Nate Chamberlain's one of them uh, but that'll be my next uh, episode so uh, until next time thank you and goodbye <laughs>